Paul. I'm not sure that I've ever uh, witnessed anything like this before in my life. It just shows you the power of tornadoes. Mike Bettis from the Weather Channel was one of the first reporters on the scene after the Joplin tornado hit last year. He's in Kansas City now to host a special event, and he's joining us in the studio this morning. Mike, thank you for joining <laughs> Good to us. See you. Good to see you. You are kind of a legend to weather I don't know enthusiasts about that, everywhere. But, <laughs> but uh, can you tell us what you're doing in town? I'm actually hosting, I was asked to host the, uh, the Mid America Regional Emmys tonight. It's going to be a great time, and I think, um, you know, really what they're passionate about in this part of the country is weather. Exactly. And uh, I think a lot of people whose hard work and dedication went into covering the Joplin tornado are going to be honored tonight. It's going to be really a really cool night. Yeah, that's great. And and so you've been with the Weather Channel, you've said, for nine years. Can you yeah. tell us, like, what is that like? Um, it's been a whirlwind. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, you know, you, it's, um, it's on the job learning when you're at the Weather Channel because it kind of for us, you know, big weather is our Super Bowl. You know, I've yeah. been in do literally dozens of hurricanes. I've tornado chased all across the country, you know, have natural disaster, will travel, really. But it's been a learning yeah, experience. Exactly. It's been a great place. It's uh, like, kind of like the mecca of weather, so it's been a lot of fun to be there. Right. And, um, and so last May, uh, May 2011, you were actually working. You were storm chasing on right. air, mm -hmm. and there was a big thunderstorm. Kansas and it pushed towards Joplin. Right. You followed it into Joplin. Can you explain to us what happened? That was a that was a tough day. Yeah. Um, we we first started on that thunderstorm over over in Kansas. Followed it into Joplin. Um, at the time when we when we were on in Kansas, it was just a generic run of the mill thunderstorm. Didn't really think a whole lot of it just yet, but it was the only thing that we were watching that day. Um, let it go past us. Followed in behind it. We got pelted by heavy rain and hail. We literally had to stop. You know and. Uh, Ten minutes later, we rolled into Joplin, and it was just destroyed. Yeah. Um, I had never seen, I've seen a lot of things in my career. I have never in my life seen anything like I saw that day. You know, I was right here. We had a little tornado action in our viewing area as well. We're just north of it, about two hours. And I turned on the TV, and I saw you do that. And it was incredible television. We always, or we see commonly video of tornadoes. Right. But I've never seen anything like that. I haven't either. I mean, um, I, I think when we we chase all the time, and I think we go out there and we try to appreciate Mother Nature and, and kind of it inspires us. But we, in the back of our mind, we know stuff like this can happen. We never expect it to happen. Yeah. But when you're there, you're there so quickly, and you see the emotion. You, you, truly, you see things you don't want to see. Um, that was really the case in Joplin when the town is wiped off the map. I mean, you it, it gets to you after a while. I mean, it was tough to report on that, and um, you know, it was just tough because there are so many people that are injured. So many people that are, it's just chaotic. The hospital is destroyed. Mm -hmm. It was just a, truly a, a disaster like I've never seen. Did it affect you in the long term? Are you okay now? Did uh, You know, at time heals all wounds. Yeah. I mean, it was tough to deal with, you mm -hmm. know, in the, in the days and the weeks and even in the months afterwards because you, you don't really ever expect to see something like that. And when it does, it impacts you in a very um, profound way. Yeah. Um, but I think it's a learning experience. I mean, for me as a meteorologist and as a, as a journalist, it was a learning experience for me on, on how to tell a story how to actually relate to, to people at home what what is going on at the time. Absolutely. And, you know, if one good thing could come from this, it's that more people are weather aware now than they ever have been. And uh, yeah. because of some of the great work you did, you'll be hosting the Emmys tonight. And uh, we have several uh, entries in those Emmys. And we'll tell you tonight on our newscasts how some of our colleagues here at 41 Action News did if we received the oh, Emmys. I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of awards. So no, no, you'll, you'll be very proud tonight. And it's yeah. not your choice. It's you not, are just hosting. That's correct. So okay. If it was my choice, everybody would win. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's only so many trophies. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for Good coming in. You. Have fun tonight. Thank and you. Uh, we hope you come back to Kansas City. I again. will. Love okay. this place. All right. Thanks. Naja? All right.